We are less than a week out from the start of open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act, also commonly called Obamacare. Some people are already finding out how the new law will impact them. Uh, Cindy Hapowitz, for example, retired, tells us her current health plan is no longer available. Now, under Obamacare, her deductible will jump by $1,500 a year. What does this mean for you? Uh, this means it's, I'm going to have to think twice about getting things done because it's like, oh my goodness, that's going to be out of pocket. Do I, how bad do I really need it? Her former employer, S.C. Johnson, says it cannot afford to offer her plan anymore because of the new 40% tax. Meetings to explain the new health care law are happening across the state. Government reps will be in Janesville today. And coming up in our next half hour, we're going to have a live interview with Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson about four most important things he thinks you should know about the Affordable Care Act. In fact, we're reaching out to Wisconsin's entire congressional delegation. So uh, Senator Johnson will be first up. We're scheduled to speak with Senator Baldwin later on today. Meanwhile, President Obama continues to try and sell the new health care law across the country. But at the same time, Republican lawmakers are still pushing to try to defund the program even threatening a government shutdown. NBC's Tracy Potts is live in Washington, D.C. this morning with the latest on all that. Hi, Tracy. Hi there. Now, it looks like health care may go away as an issue with the budget. The Senate likely now to send back to Republicans a budget that includes money for health care. And from what we're hearing, they probably aren't going to object, but they're going to punt that issue, so to speak, to next month when they deal with the debt limit. As you noted, President Obama is going out today. He'll be at a community college not far from here in Maryland talking about the choices Americans will have when open enrollment for those exchanges begins next Tuesday. New in this hour, we have some new information from the White House on what he'll say, talking about shopping around for affordable insurance. On average, Americans expected to have over 50 plans to choose from. But in areas like Wisconsin, uh, some of those plans are going to cost more than the national average. According to figures from the White House, $361 on average for the silver level plan in Wisconsin, that's higher than the national average. Uh, Wisconsin ranking 14 out of 48 when it comes to how much those plans are going to cost. Back to you. All right, Tracy Potts, thanks very much. It's now 6.06 .06 and still ahead on Live at Daybreak on today's TMJ4. Milwaukee is going to the GOATs. Dozens of them have been let loose